Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update, and it is a powder day across Utah, Wyoming, and right here in Colorado. Here's what's left of our storm system. You can see now the winds have turned because the area of low pressure is pivoting down and away. Um, so that's driving the snow down into southern Colorado. Still heavy though, Pueblo down through a lot of the uh, the wet mountains probably on the eastern side of the sand grays and then of course diving down into northern new mexico it's a big powder day in northern new mexico as well taos is reporting like two feet of snow down there in fact here's the, uh, the view 21 inches in 24 hours 25 inches in the last three days but look at that snow stake Man, it's going to be an awesome day down there. Back here in Colorado, Aspen snow mass reporting anywhere from 7 to 14 inches of new snow in the last 24 hours. You can see the cam here at snow mass about 10, maybe 11, 12, somewhere right in there. And you might still add another inch or two, but largely this storm now diving away into the south. All right, so here's what I'm seeing this morning. Bullet points, Powder Day, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. So enjoy that. We still have three additional storm systems remaining in the forecast. And you can see the timeline here in the Sierra, the Tetons, the Wasatch, Colorado, and New Mexico. So we've still got some heavy snow accumulation yet to go. Let me take you back, and I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. Give you the lay of the land. So on this your whites, your blues, and your greens, that's going to represent your moisture loft. And there's our area of low pressure. Uh, it's starting to slide away, and then it's going to hook out and away. So that's what's turning those winds in Colorado and moving the snow away. Now behind it, you've got a big area of low pressure up here. Got another big one behind that. So both of these will be riding into the west and become part of the forecast. In fact, here it is, latest jet stream forecast, which is carrying all this action around. Big trough over the uh, Intermountain, New Mexico, Colorado, uh, close of business today. There's another quick area of low pressure that's going to slide down the jet on the 26th and keep the snow going, refire it across the Intermountain West. So while this first storm slides away, there's another one coming in behind it. And there it is on close of business 26th. Here comes the 27th. Here comes another storm system moving into the Pacific Northwest. You can see it. Now, this one's mainly going to target the Pacific Northwest and the northern tier of states as it slides on through. And then the final storm system right here digs all the way down into California, 331, 41, 42. It rolls through the four corners and could spin up into a stronger Colorado storm system, 4142, and then it slides away by 43, and we're under some high pressure ridging. Looking at the forecast radar and satellite by 5.30 this afternoon, low is sliding away, leftover snows in Colorado and New Mexico, but still looks pretty heavy in northern New Mexico. Then this next low that's coming on the backside, it starts to refire the snow. Watch it right there on 326 in the afternoon. You've got snow redeveloping over the parts of Idaho, Montana, the Wasatch Tetons, and parts of Colorado as well. And then that uh, moves away. Now here comes the next storm. This goes mainly across the northern tier, but watch what it does. It kind of sets up a belt of snow over the Tetons and also the Wasatch for a couple of days, and I think we're going to see some significant accumulations as that happens, even some snow brushing the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Here comes the final storm, dives through the, uh, the Sierra, and then rolls towards the Four Corners, and this sets up another shot of snow for Utah, Colorado, and look at that, develops into a Colorado low with heavier snow in the Denver area and across the Front Range on 4142, and then that whole low begins to slide away by 4-3, and then we're under some high pressure ridging across the Intermountain West. Okay, my latest uh, grand totals map looks like this. So by late 4-3, we're looking at potentially one to three feet of additional accumulation here across the Wasatch, uh, about two feet for the Tetons, and another six to 14 in Colorado. Um, so some big snow yet to go, potentially one to two feet in the Sierra, and some lighter snows as you kind of work your way through Idaho and Montana. Let me break it down by time period. So there, today through tomorrow. Now, most of what you see in Utah happens tomorrow, 5 to 10 inches. In Colorado, New Mexico, that's happening now, tonight, through tomorrow, and light snows up in the northern tier. Okay, second time period. So it'll be a big one, 327 through 329. I've got 1 to 2 feet for the Wasatch, potentially 6 to 10 up in the Tetons, and one to three in Colorado, about a foot for the Sierra. So as it 
as that storm sets up that band of snow right over the Wasatch and the Tetons, we're going to see that big accumulation. And if anything, those numbers in the Teton, Tetons would trend up. We'll see what they look like in this afternoon's update. Here's the final time period, 3.30 through 4.3. So this captures that final storm system, um, 8 to 10 through 8 to 12 through uh, Tahoe down to Mammoth, uh, another 2 to 6 in the Wasatch, potentially 10, 9 to 10 up there in the Tetons, uh, almost a foot in Bryan Head as this storm goes down and takes a southern track towards the Four Corners. Could be looking at quite a bit in Colorado, 4 to 12 during this time period alone, and snow down across Denver and the Front Range. Okay, into the northeast, there's just barely an inch here in my forecast. I don't have any big storm systems through 4-3, just some very light snow accumulation. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map here for this morning. Again, grand totals by late 4-3 are still very impressive, with some places still in for one, two, maybe even three feet of accumulation. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Enjoy this powder Monday and take care.